Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habati fillah ibn al-qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala he said fa'afdul sa'imin akthirahum dhikrin lillahi azza wa jal fi sawmihim and this is in al-wabil al-sayyib ibn al-qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala said in his book al-wabil al-sayyib he said rahmatullah alayhi rahmatin wasi'a he said the best uh, people who fast, the best of those who fast, is those who are remembering Allah the most during their fast. So Habati Filai shows us the importance of where our priority should be during this holy month of Ramadan. And unfortunately, most of the people are very immersed in controversy. That's what they love. And it shows the status of the ummah, why we're oppressed, why we're in a sad state. Because if you look and you survey, when you travel, you'll see. And you see how engrossed in the dunya and how much wasting time. I could tell you volumes, I could write volumes, even today what happened. About individuals, you know, they're raised up on Tawheed. I asked the question, how many categories of Tawheed? And you're coming from that land. You were raised on that in primary school. Only one person could really answer that quickly and efficiently. And many other things. So you show it shows us that the people, their priorities are not where they should be. And most importantly, in the holy month of Ram, Ramadan, be like uh, Ibn al-Qayyim mentioned. Be of those who benefit from their fasting. He said, فَأَفْضَلْ سَائِمِينَ أَكْثَرُمْ ذِكْرٍ لِلَّهِ The best of those who fast are those who are remembering Allah the most. And may Allah bless us to be from amongst and be of those sa'imin or who, who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. The dhakirin wa dhakirat. Those who are from the males, servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who remember Him. And the female servants from Allah wa ta'ala who remember Him wa ta'ala. That means the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the dhikr, the adhkar, those things which are going to bring them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is frequent on their tongue. It's on their tongue. It's manifested in their hearts, in their chest. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all and guide the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and help us to come back to the book and the sunnah and unite our hearts based on the book and the sunnah and move us away from the, the hatred of one another. And the destructive of one another. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.